Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody posted this, how to make this uh, design on my Facebook page, and so I'm kind of robbing his idea. You can make a heart with your basic shape, but your heart doesn't have flat sides like this. And he didn't talk in his video. I don't even know who he is. Don't Doesn't matter. But with your ratio on lock, let's make this like 15. I'm doing the top two nodes. Then let's control D and make a duplicate of that and rotate it 270 degrees because I want to work on this side. Now I'm going to start here and have it snap to there. Now I can take these two objects and weld them. Now this is a really cool part and there's the main reason I want to make the video because this is a way to, and I don't, I made my rectangles too long. Uh, this one looks a lot better. Let's just back up here a second. All we have to do is just shorten our rectangle. Control D and make a duplicate. Rotate it 270 degrees. Take that node and have it snap to that node. I like that a lot better. Weld it. Now, this is the reason I decided to make the video because this is a pretty neat trick you can do on a lot of things. I'm gonna go from that node to that node, but you can't go past there because you're gonna, well, you can actually hold down the control button and it will. I was gonna say, when a lot of times when I wanna do this, I will use the two point line and not worry about going past there and then hold down the shape key and hold down the control button and make it longer. So you can do it either way. Now we're gonna make a duplicate of this guy, control D and make a duplicate and we're gonna rotate that duplicate off this line at a certain degree. And we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D, take away that line and you've got that design. Now you just select them all and make them black if you want. And I could have had them closer together and you would wanna take away, depending on if you're graving and cutting, you wanna take away that line. But that's an easy way. I like this one better because uh, I went a little further. And the only, the only thing I did differently is I went off this line further with my, when I rotated it. If you go like right there and you rotate it 90 degrees, you'll get a closer knit design. Anyway, so I thank that person for posting that on my Facebook page and I'm just kind of stealing his idea. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.